In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to install BSL shaders for Minecraft 1.19. I'm going to teach you how to add BSL shaders without Optifine and how to add shaders in general because I know many of you want to learn how to add shaders. If you want a video more in depth on how to add shaders, I do have a video on that. You can go ahead and click on it. But if you want to learn how to add BSL shaders, this is the right video. Let's get started. Step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you to our reading tutorial on how to download BSL shaders. But in here, the most important thing, if you don't like reading, is to click on this blue button right here that says download BSL shaders shaders here right so we click on that that is going to take us over here where we're going to look for the newest version of bsl shaders we could click on files that is going to open more files and in here don't worry because 1.19 should be here on the top and if not you could look for it on the right side as you can see recent files minecraft 1.19 go ahead and click on download file right here as you can see go ahead and click on that and that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download for bsl shaders will start automatically let's just wait for that to download so we can see here on the bottom left we have bsl downloaded let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop you guys know I love dropping things to the desktop. So let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop and let's keep going. And you can click on that second link in the description, which will bring you over here, which is our written guide on how to download Iris. Iris is going to allow us to add shaders to 1.19 Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click on that. That is going to bring us over here. Feel free to read through it. Anyways, the important thing in here is to click download Iris here. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to click download now. Then we're going to click download universal yard. As you can see, the download started here on the bottom left. I'm going to go ahead and drop that into the desktop as usual. But as you can see, we downloaded a jar file how do we install a jar file you need to have java for that and not any java most of our computers come with java 8 install and some of you might not even have java some of you might not even be able to see this cup in here even if you are able to see this cup you might have some trouble while trying to install it that is because you need to update java to java 18th but don't worry because we do have a guide on that go ahead and click on that third link as you can see we have a guide on how to download and install java 18th but the important thing is to click on this red button in here i'm going to teach you how to update it real quick go ahead and find java 18 in here in this website once you click on this red button and then scroll down until you find windows if you're using windows of course and go ahead and find the x64 installer as you can see x64 installer is right here and then go ahead and click on this blue link in here make sure you click on this one do not click on these other two because if you click on any of those two you might install some other software you don't want so just click on this one that is going to immediately start the download for java 18 jdk 18 that is the installer for the newest java version which is the one needed for any modded version of minecraft and since we're adding shaders that is considered modern minecraft so if you don't install java 18 chances are this is is not going to work for you so anyways once we have the installer for java go ahead and drop that into the desktop and now before we install that we need to run a jar fix because many of you will have trouble trying to run that so how do you run a jar fix go ahead and click on that fourth link in the description which is the last link we need so far it's our reading guide on how to download jar fix anyways once you're here click on this blue button that is going to redirect you over here and i made sure that this took you exactly where you needed to be so you see this jar fix.exe that's what you're going to click we're going to click jar fix.exe that is going to immediately start the download automatically here in the bottom left for a jar fix Let's drop that into the desktop and now we have all the files that we need we could go ahead and close out from all the tabs now we're going to start working first thing we need to do run the jar fix go ahead and double click on the jar fix once you double click on jar fix it's going to ask for administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and then this is what's going to come up meaning that the jar fix runs successfully now we could get rid of this jar fix if you want to delete that just get rid of that and now we need to install java 18 go ahead and double click on java double clicking java is going to prompt you with administrator's permission go ahead and allow it for me it says that this software is already installed would you like to reinstall it i'm going to click yes just so you guys could see how the process works and you don't feel lost right for you this is not going to come up for you it's going to immediately take you to the installer of java 18 which is going to come up right now and you're going to get to see as you can see right here this is what the installer is going to look like for you guys go ahead and click next next and let it install all java 18 install we need to get rid of the older version so go ahead and click on type and search and we're going to type add or remove programs this thing right here we're going to click on that and in here we're going to type java in the search list so go ahead and type java in here as you can see i only have java 18 that is because i'm good right i have it ready i have it set up many of you will have java 8 that is the older version some of you might even have java 17 or java 7 if you have java 7 you are way too outdated the only thing you want to see in here for these shaders to work is java 18 if you have anything else you need to click on it and uninstall it that is my recommendation because if not you're going to experience some issues anyways once we have java 18 installed this is what it's going to look like go ahead and click on close java 18 has been installed you can get rid of the installer if you want to and now we're going to install iris now before you install iris you need to run minecraft 1.19 at least once so make sure that you open your minecraft launcher and run minecraft 1.19 at least once on your computer once you have done that then you are ready to install iris installer go ahead and double click on it and that is going to bring up this little screen right here where we're going to select iris and sodium because pretty much that's the only option that, <laughs> that there is uh, obviously in the game version we're doing this for 1.19 so go ahead and select 1.19 and click install let's just give it some time it should be quite fast as you can see installation succeeded once it says down there installation succeeded that means 
it's done you can go ahead and close the installer and we could even get rid of this as well now we only have the shaders pack we have the shaders in this winrar file if you don't see these little books in there do not worry because we don't have to unzip it we don't have to access the winrar file we're going to leave it as it is so you're good for now you don't need to download any extra software what we want to do now is open minecraft launcher go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher i'm going to type here minecraft launcher and let's wait for that to load in here since we just installed iris we should have it automatically down here as you see i have iris down here automatically selected that is the way it should be for you guys if by any chance you don't see iris down there go ahead and click on installations and make sure that modded is selected last resource if iris is not coming up like that go ahead and click on new installation and scroll down until you find iris 1.19 as you can see right here iris 1.19 i have it so that's the last resource if you don't find iris in here anyways most of us will have iris in here so we're good now you have two ways of adding bsl shaders to this installation you could either click on this folder in here and do it through here which is the way i recommend go ahead and click on this folder now once this folder is open we're going to look for another folder called shaders pack as you can see right here shader packs is right here we're going to open this folder and we're going to drop the shaders in here if this folder is not coming up by any reason if this folder is not coming up by any reason by any chance go ahead and right click click new folder and name it shader packs just like this shader packs and then we're going to open that folder and we're going to drop bsl into there i already had bsl the older version so now i'm updating it so it will even be better for the 1.19 because we downloaded the 1.19 version anyways once we have the shaders in here we could go ahead and close this folder go back to your launcher and click play on minecraft and now i'm going to show you the other way that you could add the shaders i'm going to teach you how to add shaders while the game is open because you could add the shaders while the game is open as you can see the game is open right now and let's say that you already had the game open and you wanted to add the shaders through here just click on options come over here to video settings click on shader packs and in here you're going to click open shader pack folder and that is going to open that folder that we accessed manually earlier and then just go ahead and drop your shaders in here anyways let me show you that the shaders do work let's go ahead and click on done done and let's go ahead and join a world real quick i'm just going to join this world in here so you guys can see that the shaders do work as you can see here in the top left this is 1.19 so we are in the 1.19 and here we are this is the photo i have for the thumbnail so yeah this is the shaders this is bsl if you want to disable shaders you don't have to open any menu you could just click k and as you can see k disables shaders just click k and it loads it back up and if you press o it's going to open this app in here which is the shader packs menu automatically you could just press o and it's going to open this up and as you can see we have bsl 2.3 in here which is the newest one let's go ahead and apply that one i mean i'm assuming there's not gonna be a big difference but there you go that's the new bsl that's the one for 1.19 so yeah this is the shaders it's it's completely working and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. And as always, bye bye.